Tampa Airport's been known for many, many years for having a great customer experience. As airports nationwide get busier and busier and busier, pinch points often become the curbsides and the roadways. Fortunately, we had real estate to be able to deal with that by relocating our rental car operation to the south part of our property in a consolidated center. It freed up space on our roadways and our curbsides to the tune of almost four million vehicles a year being removed from our roadways. The master plan expansion for Tampa International is a uh, three-phase process. The Conorac and APM is the first phase and to some degree it was the enabling phase. Our task was to make that mile and a half separation feel as effortless and seamless as possible for the passenger by employing an automated people mover system. It's taking what was previously about a three minute walk uh, across the street to get to rental cars and turning it into only about a five minute train ride. So really maintaining that high level of customer satisfaction that Tampa International's uh, customers have gotten very used to. You arrive off of the train into a mini mall that has all of your various storefronts for each of the different rental car facilities. Uh, you then transition down into the various levels of the parking garage uh, where a customer would go to pick up their vehicle. Behind that building is another smaller but attached garage that offers um, a quick turnaround service. They can immediately get those vehicles back to the customer, giving them the opportunity to serve more customers to increase their revenue. Intuitive wayfinding is the process of being able to find your way from point A to point B uh, and not having to rely entirely on signage. Uh, we try to use the architecture itself as a way of conveying a, a basically a starting point and end point and using certain iconic pieces in the design to aid in that process. The art pieces that were selected are really a fantastic contribution to the architecture. Very unique to the Tampa Bay area. Somewhere for your eye to wander to uh, while you're standing there waiting for the train. We are very um, happy with our remote bag check at our new rental car center because that offers an amenity that's perhaps a click above what others are expecting when they go other places. And we have customers that are using that service every day, very conveniently, returning their rental car, getting a boarding pass, checking their luggage, coming up to the terminal hands-free, and now maybe having more of an opportunity to enjoy some of the other amenities at the airport before they travel on. I think our signage is another part that we focus on because we want our signs to direct people very conveniently and do it in a way that's not cluttered, that's pretty concise, and so we spent a lot of time with Gresham's working on just the right signage package for all of these new facilities. Taking uh, something that could have really been uh, a very much a negative, uh, moving those rental cars away from that main terminal, but seeing how the general public has really responded very well, have really embraced uh, this new way of working, and just seeing the overall customer satisfaction, it is really the most rewarding thing for me. Site constraints had everything to do with the solution. We thread the needle and we literally put these facilities in the only place they could go. Um, and that was a very significant challenge because not, not only are we constrained along the whole one and a half mile site, uh, we have to bear in mind we're working at an active airport. So in particular, crossing the main parkway entrance in and keeping those vehicles moving at all times was a pretty significant challenge. Not only do you have an owner as in the aviation authority, but you also have tenants or stakeholders, which are the airlines. Um, so they had to buy into it all. The, you know, when you're dealing with 16 rental car companies, we met with them on a monthly basis for four years. They were a partner in this from start to finish. I wouldn't necessarily call it challenging, because I think that's the nature of of what we're supposed to do in design build. We try to bring that collaboration between ourselves, our client, and the stakeholder and bring it all together. In the next phase of the master plan, we're going to be expanding our curbsides by 16 additional lanes, upper and lower. And then in the final phase of the master plan, we're going to build a new 16-gate domestic and international terminal, and all three together will provide us with a capacity to process more than 35 million annual passengers. So. We're very happy about what this three-phase master plan is doing for the future of the airport 
and enabling us to stay in our existing terminal complex longer. It's been a game-changing project for the airport. The project was to help decongest our main terminal area roadways, and it did just that, and yet provide our customers a fabulous experience.